I'm pretty sure that's a clock. That is literally a clock. A clock? Look at it. Wait, inside. but are they, hold, oh, I need a loop. I'm really freaking out over this one. Hey guys, Rebecca and Rob here. We're back for another unboxing and I can't wait to see what we have today. So these first two boxes supposedly go together. Okay. We have a clue in one There's of them. There's a clue in one of them. Very tiny handwriting. Sparkling with the sun's warm glow, in Oregon's earth, I'm found below. Kissed by copper, day's delight, what am I in the bright daylight? Oh, I got a ton of bags. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my they God. They go together. What's in yours? Because I have like Sunstone. a million amazing cuts. Look at these cuts. Oh, very cool. Oregon Sunstone. Yes. It's the state gemstone of Oregon as of the mid 1980s because it is found in Oregon. Right. So Sunstone is a variety of feldspar. Oregon Sunstone is a particular variety of feldspar. There are a lot of varieties of feldspar, as you guys probably mm -hmm. know. It's a very complex group of minerals. And there are different types of sunstone as well. Right. So there are a lot of identifying characteristics of organ sunstone. So as you can see here, mm. the color can be a variety of colors and you often have this light pink, peachy, turning into green color and you often see them in the same stone. So a lot of these have that really cool Right, yeah, you can, you can tilt it and see a ton of green like when you look at it from the top but you tilt yes. it back a little ways. Per the clue, organ sunstone has copper inclusions mm -hmm. and what happens with these copper inclusions is light hits it and it reflects or it diffracts, it interferes with each other and you get a an optical phenomenon. A lot of people call it Schiller. There's a little bit of controversy around that term. I personally call this Schiller mm -hmm. as it refers to organ sunstone, but you see this variety of colors being emitted from the stone. I would add that it's metallic in its appearance. That's a result of the copper. But what you also have in Rob's box are a bunch of what are called fantasy cuts. Yeah. And organ sunstone is a famous material for lapidaries to create fancy cuts because they can use a variety of cutting styles and different facets. Take a look through that facet and start to angle it away. I love fantasy cuts because they don't adhere to as many rules and it allows for a lot of artistic expression. With fantasy cuts, you can put patterns, you can put whole scenes and images. And you often have these like concave facets. Mm -hmm. So you have these divots in the gemstone, often on the back. Yeah. Face. This to me is like an elongated shield. They're all asymmetrical. They're also all very deep. And then they have cuts that go up into the stone from the base so that yeah. when you view it from the top, it gives it this depth that's really spectacular. I'm really freaking out over this one. You see the mix of colors when you look at it this yeah. way, but then if you turn it over and look through the base, there's, it's just like colorless. Which tells me that the lapidary is taking into account angles to manipulate light the way they want. Yeah, and so it has the best color face up. Right. I actually think the color on that one's really interesting. Oh yeah, it's kind of got like a zone. Yeah, a zone of that yeah. peach. Have you got a favorite of these? So this one, I, I would be curious to know a little bit more about that one because I'm pretty sure that's a clock. That is literally a clock. A clock? Look at it. It has it has 12 hashes. Oh, it does. I wasn't even looking. Wait, inside. but are they, hold, oh, I need a loop. I would be very surprised I'm if testing my the intention yeah. wasn't a clock. But I mean, that yeah. looks, it looks wow, like that's a, incredible. a clock tower. Yeah, yeah, it does. I like this one the most for its color and its cut. I am kind of inclined towards that one, I will agree. And it's super blue green, and then if I yeah. tilt it back, it's, you know, sunset colored. Yeah, the colors which are I really, really nice. Like, yeah. Typically, though, I will say I do gravitate towards that peach color. Well, I mean, it's sunstone, you know, you, I guess you kind of want of a sunny sun. color. But again, this is also sunstone, and you Big. have some peach ish to it, but to me, it's mostly this yellowish green. I see a lot of peach actually from this angle. Mm -hmm. And that's cut by Daryl Alexander. It's a little bit under 13 carats. That's a really nice stone. Yeah. So these actually come from South Central Oregon. At these mines, you can actually go and mine for yourself. And you can pull something out of the ground that looks like this. And again, I actually think that this is one of the best examples on the table of the Schiller effect. But imagine being a lapidary, seeing this, and knowing yeah. enough about the gemstone to know, okay, 
I need to put this facet there, I need to do this there to best optimize that because it looks really good as it is. There's a lot of potential in that stone. I yeah. Think. There can be a lot of color variety as you can see here. And this stone has kind of a trade name called lemon sunstone and it's a lighter lemon color. But it also comes from Oregon. Okay, I've got two more boxes. Perfect. Great. Ooh, Ooh, I've got jewelry. I've got rough. Oh, oh, this one has a patch that's like. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, I love that. So if I had to guess, mm -hmm. which came, they told me it was Indian sunstone. So we're still sunstone, it's just India now. Oh my god, it's just sort of like, it's a really nice color. It just doesn't have any of the f metallic copper flashing. Whoa, check that out. I know. Again, like we mentioned earlier, feldspar is a massive, very complex group. It's mm -hmm. part of an isomorphous series, and so you've got a lot of different chemical replacement going on, and so you have a lot of different potential for varieties and just different things occurring in the gemstone. You have different types, therefore, of sunstone. So organ sunstone, sunstone from organ, there are certain inclusions like copper mm -hmm. that are found in it. You also have sunstone from India, which is what we have here. In this case, there are inclusions of gertite and hematite, so they're nice. still metallic, and you do still have that reflection effect from these inclusions. However, you have something that's a little bit different. Here you have more of a rainbow effect that happens. I'm seeing a little bit more color. You, you have a little bit more color. Yeah. And while the organ sunstone inclusions are visible to the naked eye, typically with sunstone from India, the inclusions are really visible. You can look at this and you can actually see some of them are hexagonal shape and you can see the different platelets. Yeah, and I can see where I can expect to find flashes of light. It's these redder patches, and what I'm enjoying about this Indian sunstone right now is I find a red patch, and I'm like, rotate, 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 bam, there it is. There's a little angle window where the inclusions will flash. It's because, you know, light enters this stone, there are inclusions there, and when you have it, platelet inclusions, light is going to bounce from that, but it could hit another inclusion. It could reflect back out of the stone and hit your eye. It could hit something else and then diffract from that and interfere with another light wave. So you have a lot of different opportunities for light to do interesting things, mm -hmm. which produces a lot of those spectral colors. So aventurescence is a lot like Schiller, but aventurescence is the word to describe this phenomenon in this variety of sunstone in particular, where you've got a little bit of color going on. And specifically, it's when light reflects off of these tiny platelets, mm -hmm. and you create that kind of shimmering effect. You can also see this effect in aventurine quartz. And also goldstone. So goldstone is a type of man-made glass, and it's used as an imitation, as you can see. Similar color, mm -hmm. kind of similar effect. It's pretty easy to differentiate yeah, the two. Yeah, I'm seeing it's very wild, this yes. goldstone. But goldstone has been around for actually a really long time, and goldstone is actually where the name of aventurescence originated. Goldstone is kind of unique in its history. So it was developed by accident in glass making in Venice, Italy in the 17th century. And it was named Aventurine Glass. And the phenomenon of Aventurescence is named after this accidental glass. And the word originally in Italian meant adventure or by chance. So part of the legend is that Italian monks accidentally spilled copper shavings into a vat of glass. So we've got another box. Okay. It's a little small, but that's that's like totally fine. Okay, I'm thinking it's more sunstone. Accurate, I think. Oh, look, oh. that's really pretty. Okay, the team has given us a hint. It's from another location. Different country. Russia. Madagascar. Maybe somewhere in northern Africa. Tanzania. Nice. Tanzanian sunstone. Okay. Th these are really yeah. cool, and yeah, like you, cool. they're small, and from a distance you can definitely see the adventurous effect. You know, gemstones, if they're natural, are from the earth, and we have all sorts of things in nature that kind of mimic each other. And so, like mm -hmm. the clue said about the sun, it's you know sunstone, obviously. I love that deep orange, the warm glow that kind of mm -hmm. reminds you of a sunset. It has a real richness of color that I think mm -hmm. is really beautiful. And I wouldn't say it's one of the most popular gemstones 
on the market. You're not going to go in just your regular old jewelry store yeah, and find. Yeah, stone. It's a great collector's stone, it's for really sure. It's really cool. It's really cool, and it's actually relatively affordable. Now, when you get to the fantasy cuts, stones that are designed by famous lapidaries, yeah. or they have particular clarity or certain color or pattern of colors, those are going to get pretty expensive. Yeah. But by and large, sunstone is not incredibly expensive. Feldspar is one of the most abundant materials on Earth. That's a good and point. so yeah. you're going to have a lot of it, but that doesn't make it any less cool. I completely agree with everything you just said. And the coolest part is almost everything on this table is for sale, so yeah. you can buy it. We'll have the link down in the description if you're interested. All of the faceted pieces, the cabochons from Tanzania, the jewelry, the lemon sunstone, all of these fantasy cuts. The link will be down in the description if you're interested in checking any of this stuff out. I really encourage you to look at the fantasy cuts oh. because there are nice descriptions there. Those are really one of a kind pieces. You have Please. famous designers creating those. You have a design that nobody else in the world is going to have. Mm -hmm. And so I personally really gravitate towards that kind of material just because it's so unique and that's why yeah. we love gemstones, right? They're so unique. You want to know which one is yours. You want to have these identifying characteristics that make you confident that yours is your own. And so I just think those are really cool. Well, as you know, we've come to the part in the video where we take a specimen or a piece and we give it a closer look. So do you have one picked out for yourself? Well, I'm going to go with the American gem. Okay. And I'm gonna have to go with this guy. I was I That's was kinda, clock? No, I was kinda oh. debating between this and the clock. But I honestly it's the shield shape and it's the color. Since you've got American, I'm gonna hop across the world and go with one of these rough Indian pieces because I love the surprise of the effect when the angle hits and the light hits just right. It's really cool. So let's take a closer look. Thank you so much for watching this episode all about Sunstone. Maybe next time we'll talk about Moonstone. Let us know if you'd like that uh, down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thanks for watching.